Yo guys, this is gonna be crazy, bro. Look at this. We is in the back rooms. Like, shit's about to go down. Alright, bro, let's continue. I already know this game. I played it many times. So, consider this as a walkthrough, I guess. But yeah. Fuck. Alright. Going into this dark ass hallway and we go over here to press this button now we get to go over here man it's gonna be hmm last bit of the video ah oh, damn we got some shiny ass nails In the rain we'll kill us all Throw ourselves against the wall Button right there you press Yeah man it's Glowing eyes over there now we go through here little wall go through here now and now there's gonna be a third mirror room with the terrible pixelated camera or mirror quality but yeah all right now we go through here Here comes the fun part, Morse code. So this door. That's Morse code, but I already know the code. It's gonna be D3, C4, A1, and then E4. Easy as that. And now I gotta go, I'm just gonna respond to make the journey quicker. But now there's gonna be a secret room we go through now. And there's eyes over there. They disappear though. You can do like a little no clip glitch to see through the walls. Alright. Alright, you go through here. Now you can just respawn, make the journey a lot quicker. Yeah. Now we're gonna go through three different sets of doors. All right, and there's gonna be a monster right there. No, we won't have to worry about that until later. It's just there's as a jump scare at the at the moment. There's gonna be a monster that disappears. That serves nothing but a jump scare. It's gonna be a sequence. Listen to the walls. I already know the sequence. 200. Alright, write this down. Alright, the first one's 200. The next one is gonna be here. So it's 200, 500. Writing this down. 200, 500. 300 keep that in memory well I got to keep it in memory because I do not remember the numbers just the just the place where I need to go 200 500 I already forgot but then 400 is the next one mm -hmm. 
and then this one is 600 and there's gonna be a scream Her, I hear that scream respawn and then we go through here and there's a dead guy with a fork in his eye interact he's dead but someone or something moved him all right now we grab this fork yeah we take this fork and I hit hand yeah why the fuck am I trying to speak in a British accent all right now we put it in here you stick it into that plug then we gotta go back into the other room What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Sorry. Anyways, we go through here. Mm -hmm. Then we go through here. Alright, now we can go through this door over here. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta stop. Alright, so now you, alright, so here's these tiles. So, one, two, three, four, five, six squares. Then we go through this door right here. One, two, go through that door. All right, now we're back over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and then we go through this door right here and then here's a phone we gotta listen to it so you've made it good most people don't make it this far due to that mirror on level zero listen i know you're tired of going around and clicking buttons but it's the only way to keep us safe things are always changing down here most likely a new door opened up and of course you'll need to find it your second light should be on as well good luck now we respawn and now we go back into the secret room so I'm just gonna look through the wall cuz it's literally like right there uh-huh here it is all right now there's gonna be this door we go through. Now we can grab this flashlight. All right, and then here comes the maze part. But I do not feel like uh, using this low quality flashlight, so I'm gonna get a better avatar. Well, never mind. It doesn't really. Uh, usually it lights up the maze. But I guess it doesn't work on PC, so... Yeah. It works on Quest, though. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna continue on this way. I mean, at least a flashlight's better on the PC. Because on the Quest, it's fucking dim as hell, but... Yeah, we go through this door. We get a PC it up. Is somebody there? Yeah, the what are, thing's not what are working. What you doing here? Uh, at least I'm not the only one stuck down here. Look, could you help me out? The power went out all of a sudden. Maybe this light works. Been stuck in this okay, this light works days. 100%. The fuse box must have blown or something. There's gotta be a spare fuse somewhere around here. If you find a fuse, bring it back here and slide it under the door. Then I can get the power back up and get out of here. But be careful. I feel like there was a reason why the power went out. Oh, and my name's Walter, by the way. Thanks for helping me. Alright, so after he's done talking, this part... This is... This is gonna be a part where we get chased. We're gonna get chased by a monster in this part, but I already know what to do, so don't even worry. I'm gonna use this light effect. It's not really the best, but kind of lights up the area a little bit. All right. So 
so now we click this right here and then click it again and it starts spinning so that turns off the steam that we saw earlier and then the monster should be somewhere over here yeah there's that's the monster right there but do not worry the monster is super slow so we're good we're fine we're chilling but yeah now we have to go all the way over here all right honestly i don't really need this light but you can see good without it but i don't know all right. and now we grab this fuse thing right here and then we go around here then we go through here Now we go through here again. You actually found one? Nice. Now, just let me try to insert it into this slot. And... All right, so Walter's dead. So now we go get out of this room. But do not worry, the monster is no longer here now. So now we just go through here, through these doors. All right. Don't really need this light, but. And then we go through these doors, and then boom, no more steam over there. But there's gonna be a passcode, and it's gonna be 369. Okay. And then keep in mind, there is going to be another monster. So now that, that door over there is now uh, broken. So what you wanna do, is stay along this wall and book it because you will see the monster so we gotta book it don't even look back just go through the door all right once you made it through the door you're basically at the end of part one so yeah end of part one so yeah you basically beat beaten the game I mean, it took me about 12 minutes, but usually, once you get, once you memorize everything, you can probably complete this in like, maybe 8 or 7 minutes. Yeah, and then, you can respawn if you want to, because there's like a little something else, down this way. It's gonna be a secret room over here that you can go through and then yeah so it's gonna be a hole just go ahead and jump in it and then boom we are now at the end so these are like developer notes stuff like that and there's like a little uh, mirror right here you can look at see yourself in the mirror because you beat the back rooms yeah that is basically how you defeat the back rooms yeah <laughs>